and welcome everybody one more video tutorial on this occasion we're gonna be showing how to record midi bass and drums from your dr 80 into your daw okay we already got these video up set up midi for for dr 80 on and daw we got that up and running we also have uploaded set up audio and record from dr 80 into the daw and also we did this video is uploaded record midi bass and drums from daw from the daw into the dr 80 these three videos are uploaded already now we're going to take care of this one record midi bass okay Record MIDI, bass, and drums from DR-880 into your DAW. And here we go. Remember, already we set up the, the MIDI. So if you need to see this video first, so you can set up your, your drum machine and your DAW, FL Studio. So you could be able to record MIDI from your... 880 into your DAW, you got to check out this video. All right. The setup for the MIDI. Okay. So for this video, record MIDI, bass and drums from 880 into DAW. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. We already have it set up. Okay. We don't need this one. We're going to be um, recording a new one. So let me, this is, this is the pattern that we're going to be recording. Okay, it's already recorded, but we're going to record it again. So this is it. Let's see if we could play it here. Okay. Okay, if you can see the machine is not running, we are just running the, the DAW. The machine is only give it, giving us the sound. Okay. And that's what, what we are going to record from the machine into the DAW. Not necessarily have to be that pattern, though. It could be anything. And then we could save it as a MIDI file. Okay, let me get rid of this, and let me get rid of the drums. Okay, there you are. So we don't have anything right now, it's empty. Okay. So, here we go. First, we're going to select what we want to record. We're going to go here into the patterns from the machine, the default patterns. Okay, let's say we want to record this one. Okay. That's just going to loop. It's only four measures. One, two, three, four. I think it's two measures, not four. Okay, so that will be... Tempo, we got it on 150. Let's set up the tempo here, 150. 150, here it is, okay. And let me see, okay. It remain on 150, that's good. So this pattern, uh, let me see if I could delete this because we're going to record a new one. Okay, so we got to move this to here. That'll be a new one, new pattern. So that way we don't overwrite whatever we have here. We're not going to be overwriting this. Okay, that's why we're selecting here a new one. Okay, so it's pattern number two. We need to leave it here on pattern, not on song, but on pattern. So this is good. Remember here, we're going to be recording uh, notes, not audio. Okay, we're going to be recording MIDI. 
So MIDI are notes, data notes. Okay, from the machine into the DAW. So we put it on pattern. We got a new pattern, it's empty. Um, let me double click here. Okay, there you go. It's empty, you see there's nothing here. Let's record first the bass, but I believe it records both um, drum and bass at the same time for I don't know what reason. I don't know why it does that. Let's go into the piano roll. Okay, here we are. So we're going to be recording first the bass, so we lower the drums, or I think we just mute the drums here. Let me get out of here for a second. Uh, yeah, we mute the drums, so we only gonna hear the bass. Uh, beautiful. Okay, so... Hmm. Let me see. Lower the... I lowered the volume of the drums right here. It was... Let me put it up. Let me play. Uh, let me do this. There you go. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so let's um, hit play one more time. We only have the drums. We just want to record the drums for now, but I believe it records both things at the same time. I don't know why. So here we go. We got to select bass. We are on the pattern for the bass. We got pattern here, remember. Select notes, not audio. So we got notes selected. And let's put it here. And now we're going to enable the MIDI remote. Okay. So when we hit play, it's going to start recording, I believe. We got it on 150. Okay, that's good. And here we go. We got it all set. And here we go. Let's press back the machine. We press right here. So we'll go from the beginning. Okay. And now let's hit play and let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. So here we are. It was only four, uh, four measures because this is just a uh, repetition. So there's no point to record anything else. And we got it. And like I said, it got recorded MIDI and drums on the same, on the same, um, instead of, of just bass, it just recorded drums and, and bass. Let's erase all these drums. <clears throat> Let me get him out of there. Or we could just copy. We could just copy them because it's already recorded. We could just copy them and paste them on the bass track. Hold on a second. Yeah, we could just copy them and paste them because it's already recorded. If I record the drums, it's going to do the same thing. So there's no point. Okay, so now on the bass track, let's erase the drums. So here we are with the drums. Let's do this. Okay, so we're going to erase this. We're going to erase this and everything else. There you go. And that's about it. Now we have only the drums. Now let me go to drums and erase the bass we are on the drum track and let's erase the bass there you go there you go there you go and there you got it okay so now we got already recorded these two you gotta um turn off this here the record so that way it doesn't record anything and let's try the bass. It's going to be by itself. Let me disable this. And here we go. 
perfect. I believe it's perfect. I just off for a little bit. It sounds more human if it's off like that for a little bit, so that's good. Okay, so now let's check the drums. recorded from the machine DR880 into our DAW. Let me turn, turn this one on, this channel, and there you go. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> now, um, let me just, so you can see that this is not running, the machine is not running. Let me hit play over here. Let me move this here. This is not audio, by the way. This is MIDI. Okay, let me get this and let me get this. Sorry. Okay. So, oh, let me go into the playlist. Much better. Much easier right here. So this pattern, we drop it here. This is the one we just recorded. Okay, perfect. Oh, well, let's go here. So you can see this is not being played at all okay we're gonna play the DAW okay so this is we got the sound from here because we got it the options are right here enable MIDI output so the MIDI notes are triggering the sound from the DR880 <coughs> and there you go there you have it perfect Okay, the purpose is so you can have this and now you can save it as a MIDI file. So you go here, save as, or export MIDI or save as MIDI is the same difference. Okay. And that's about it. There you have it. We just recorded from the DR880 into FL Studio. We recorded MIDI. So you could record any patterns that you want from the machine. You have 500 patterns. You could record any patterns into the DAW. You could edit it however you want, and then you could um, put them back into the 880. I like to edit them here. I like to edit the MIDI here or the patterns here in, in FL Studio because it's quicker. Okay, if you need to move a note around. And also, if you want to make this longer, you just select Control A, copy, and you paste it, and you can move it faster. Okay. If you want to edit the MIDI in your, D on, in your machine, the R880 is a little bit more tedious. A little bit more complicated and more slow the process, but if you edit it here, it's a whole lot faster. Okay, as you can see, you can even change here the key. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going with the bass. So there you go. Since it's easier to edit the MIDI here, that's why I like to do it like that. Record the MIDI into the DAW and then edit the MIDI notes however I want. Okay. Okay, that's just a demonstration of what you could do and Go into the drums and mess with the drums. 
do whatever you want to do with the drums. Okay, remember after every change you make, save the file. You can save either the MIDI file or you can save the, the FL project, the FL, um, FL Studio file. Or you can save the MIDI, it's up to you. Okay, so we got this video all set, ready. And thank you for watching one more time. Thank you for subscribing, for sharing. And see you guys on the next video. We got this one. Okay, this one is already, already done. And on the next video, we're going to be... The tutorial for the next video is going to be... Edit patterns on the drum machine DR880. So let me put this around here. Okay, that's going to be our next video, editing patterns in the drum machine. We're not going to be using the DAW. Okay, so this is our next video. Edit patterns on DR880. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video. Okay. See you then.